What's going on, family? Welcome back to Keish Positive Vibes. I just want to say thank you all for those of you who keep to continue to tune in and show your support. Thank you so much. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and thumbs up, like wherever you're watching this at, subscribe if you're on my YouTube channel, right? And um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Makisha, right? Because it's Keish Positive Vibes, but it comes from my name, right? So today's topic I want to talk about is um how to stay focused, right? Because it gets, we're in 2021, we're in the first week of um, February, January. I keep wanting to say February because it's going by so fast. I keep wanting to say February, but we're in the last week of January and time is moving, right? So how do you stay focused? Because last year was a, man, an intense year. That was the first year where everybody was like, hey, I'm ready for the next year. So we're here in the next year, right? And now we're in the last week of January. And we set these goals. We set goals last year, the year before last, year for that, year for that, year for that, right? And then now we're in a new year and we set more goals. But how do you stay focused on it? Right? Because life gets in the way. Like, I understand. Life gets in the way. So how exactly do you stay focused on your path, right? So how do you do that? One of the ways that I do that is by, why well, I didn't always do this, right? This is one of the ways I've been doing for like maybe over a year now. So I started focusing on my reason why. Now, reason why? Because I realized that my goals go a lot deeper than just what I need to accomplish. My goals, you know, everything trickles down to my family, to my friends, to my loved ones, to, to everyone, Why? Right? So when I know my reason why, which is my niece and nephews, which is to carry on my grandmother's ne legacy, right? For my family, right? For my loved ones, for a lot of different people, right? So if I know my reason why, I know that if I'm working on a particular project, which is my focus right now, a particular project, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't feel like doing it today. It ain't, it ain't gonna work. If I'm just doing it for myself, then yeah, psh, it, it's no problem taking the day off. I'm like, hey, I just take the day off. But I know that my reasons why I can't take off. Because if I take that day off and not doing what I'm supposed to be doing or what I said I was going to do that day, then I'm not only letting myself down, I'm letting my reason why is down. And the type of person that I am, I don't like to let people down. All right? So if I say I'm going to do something, then I'm going to do it. So when it comes to staying focused, your first thing needs to be to focus on a reason why. Now, it'd be nice if it's a person. Maybe it can be you want to retire or something right but just have that reason why in your mind write it down have it close to you all right have it close to you like i got pictures on my my grandmother right i got my vision board right i got my niece and nephews on my phone so a lot of stuff it, it keeps me keeps me focused so anytime i'm like eh, i don't feel like doing it today i hear my nephew voice like hey auntie can i get this can i have this can we do this all right because I'm the best auntie in the world. So I got to make sure they have everything they need and want, right? So I can't just take the day off from accomplishing my goals. Even though I'm human, right? We all we all have these human experiences. So we do get those times. But when that time comes up, know your reason why. Another thing, another thing that I do is about who I listen to. Who's in my ears, right? When I'm out working out, who, who am I listening to? When I'm in the car, who am I listening to? When I'm on maybe a Facebook Live or Instagram, um, what do you call it thing? Well, we don't say Instagram Live. I think that's what it's called. I, I don't know. But who am I listening to? Because if I'm just listening to some crap or somebody arguing, somebody fighting, that's not going to help me reach my goals. But if I have something inspirational, something motivational in my ear, especially while I'm working out, it's going to make me push harder towards those goals. So when I'm outside doing my walks every day, you know who's in my ear, who I'm listening to? Listen to some E.T., Listen to E.T., um, which is E.T., you know, hip-hop preacher. Listen to um, some Justin Owens, some David M. Monitier. Listen to a lot of different stuff that's going to keep me pumped up, right? Because I got to, yeah, got to get these muscles going, right? So I listen to a lot of stuff that's going to keep me pumped up and keep me motivated to keep pushing forward. So not only now do I know my reason why, but I also, too, have some inspiration, motivational going on in my ear. Because I'm realizing that a lot of stuff we take in subconsciously, right? Take in subconsciously, we got to watch out what we're doing with our five senses. We'll talk about that another day, right? We're just gonna talk about who are you listening to, who's in your ear. So pay attention to what's on your timeline, right? If you got a lot of negativity in your timeline, it's time to unfollow some people because we, we're on a mission this year. We're on a mission. We're not gonna end this year like last year. 
this year is a year for new beginnings. This year is your year of growth, right? We're going to come back from last year. We are. So this year, we're going to make up for that. We're going to be everything that we said we were going to be. And we're going to change our family lives, going to change our loved ones' lives, right? So that's why you have to stay focused. It gets hard sometimes, but remember your reason why. Be careful who you're listening to, right? And clear off your timeline. Like, that's the main thing. Because I know sometimes I might, I found myself sometimes was last year scrolling and I just get lost, lost in the sauce. Then all of a sudden you start seeing just stuff that you just should not be seeing. And it's like, why am I following you, right? Clear up your timeline, clear up your friends list. And just, you got to be careful who you're listening to, who you're seeing, who you're following. And that's pretty much it. Because I'm already in six minutes. I was supposed to stop at three minutes, but... Man, I just want y'all to get this, right? Because this is your year. This is your year. You're going to hear me keep saying that. This is your year. But you have to make some changes. You have to stay focused. Stick to it. I know you got this. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, right? Um, wherever you're watching this, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, like it, right? Put the little heart button or something. And comment below. Comment. So that was getting too awesome. Getting too awesome. It had cut off. But I want you to, as I ended off before, I want you to comment below, stay focused. That way I can see it so I can stay focused. Somebody else who, read, who um, reads the comments, they'll know, stay focused because we got this. This is our year. 2021 is our year and it's your time to shine. Just remember, you were born with greatness. It's time for you to step up. It's your time. It's your time to shine, right? Don't keep just watching me. Keep following along. I want you up here with me. So that is all for today. I shall see you all on next week's video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Also as well, I do have a finance channel where I talk about Forex, stocks, cryptocurrencies, all that type of great stuff. So make sure you follow that channel as well. I'll make sure I post a link below. And that is all. I wish everyone a blessed, prosperous, and just phenomenal rest of the week.